Hey, hey, I'm Tiff. I'm a holistic health coach for high achieving women. Women that are all about going from good to great, mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually. Today, I'm back with part two of my three-part training, which is all about the three things that sabotage your ability to reach your health goals. In training one, we focused on autopilot. Why the lack of mind and body connection blows up your ability to reach your goals. If you didn't watch that training yet, go ahead and pop on back there, then come back here. If you already watched it, let's go. Grab your pen, grab your notebook. This is going to be some really good life-changing stuff. So the, the second thing that blows up your ability to reach your health goals is a lack of alignment. Now let's define what the hell alignment is. Sometimes alignment is used as a spiritual term. It's kind of mystical and elusive. But what I mean when I say alignment is you knowing with extreme clarity your needs, your preferences, and your desires. And then you running your life according to your needs unapologetically. That's alignment. That's when you're at ease and when you're feeling good. So when we think about alignment when it comes to health, that means you doing things that work for you, giving your unique body, your unique needs, preferences, and desires. Here's the biggest holdup, the biggest thing that I see really derailing women from making progress and, and seeing results that stick for the long run. So most women that I work with, they have been trying to lose weight for years or decades. And I struggled myself. I did these things as well. And so when you want to lose weight, naturally, you, you get online, you Google things, you see these ads come up for these different diets, different ways of losing weight. We think that the answer is outside of ourselves, that there's some magical solution or magic pill that we're missing. If we just got our hands on that, we would lose the weight and keep it off for good. So let's take keto, for example. I can't tell you how many clients come to me after they've done keto and it worked until it so many of my clients do keto. They take that plan off of a shelf. They squeeze it into their life. They swear off carbs forever, right? It becomes stressful. They can't go out to social events and be regular, right? And they're constantly worried about keto and eating the right things and staying away from carbs. It's like they're allergic to carbs, right? It just causes a lot of stress and resistance. And so if I can't do something for the rest of my life, then it's probably not a good plan. It's probably out of alignment. Meaning if I don't love the plan, then I cannot stick with it because it doesn't align with my needs, my preferences, and my desires. Whew, that is so important. And so here's the really cool part. You have all the answers, my friend. All of the answers are within you. You are your own guru. Now I know this also sounds kind of elusive, but let me give you an example, right? So for me, I love me some pizza. So if I told myself, I'm gonna do keto, you can never eat pizza again, Tiff. It's just, there's no way, right? Swear off pizza for the rest of my life. I would feel awful, miserable. None of the pizza feels bad. And if I tried that, if I did keto for a while, guess what? I'm gonna want all of the pizza. So there we are, ebbing and flowing between the all or nothing pesky mindset. Whew. And so alignment, alignment is simple. Alignment is in the gray area between the all or nothing. This is one of the biggest lessons I teach my clients and it just blows their mind. Another way to say this is that you know exactly how much pizza is good for your body. Nobody else can tell you that. So here's the deal. When I eat pizza in the past, I probably would have eaten, not probably, in the past, I would eat four or five pieces. I would feel awful and bloated. I have to unbutton the top button of my pants. I feel like a slug and it was awful. Now, if I eat pizza, I'm gonna have two slices. I won't feel phenomenal. I'll feel a little bit, uh, but I won't feel completely gross and awful in my skin. And now, if I had none of the pizza, that would feel awful. So there you have it. Four or five pieces feels awful. Zero pieces feels awful. Two, I can get my mind around that. I can love my decision in the moment and I can love my decision the next day. 
So that's the jam. We're aiming for alignment. What is your inner truth? What is in between the all or nothing? Now you may be thinking, well, Tiff, how am I supposed to lose weight if I'm eating the pizza? Well, if you were eating four pieces before and you're eating two now, that means you're going to make progress. When you make progress, you become more motivated, you get more momentum and you just rinse and repeat. And then maybe you go down to one piece. Here's the deal. When you make progress, you get momentum and you make better choices. When you're doing the all or the nothing dance, you're out of alignment and you become stuck. So here's your action item to be in alignment. So here's your action item to be in alignment. Ask yourself, what decision would I love in this moment? And what decision would I love the next day? Right? Because there, there's two parts to this work. You have to love the decision in the moment. And then you also have to work to love the decision the next day. So if you find yourself beating yourself up, ah, why did I have the two pieces? You got to go, mm-mm. I decided in the moment two would be phenomenal. So I'm going to own that decision. And if it didn't feel great, guess what? Next time you're going to have one piece or 1.5. That's all you're going to do. You're going to make decisions you love. You're going to work to love the decisions. And then you're going to reflect versus deflect and then keep making better decisions. This, my friend, is alignment. Looking outside of yourself for some sort of diet or some sort of plan that you should be doing that feels awful and squeezing it into your life is not the way. So to rock at alignment, simply ask yourself, what decision would I love? All right, let me know how this training landed. Drop some comments, drop some questions, slide into my DMs. You do you. Bottom line, I want to hear from you.